What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Tasty Tuesday on Tasty Loot Gaming. In case you don't know, Tasty Tuesday is a show where we talk about gaming news of the prior week. Uh, my name's Seth. I'm Chevy. And uh, quick reminder, uh, Plus Club at the end of the month is coming up. Uh, I still have not, admittedly, played um, either games. I installed them. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I got to I gotta get those going. But, uh, but letting you guys know to not fall behind, just like us. Um, and those games are Gauntlet. Uh, some edition, whatever. It's the only one on there, obviously. And uh, King's Quest Chapter 1. So definitely check this out and come back to the end of the month and we will talk about them. Um, okay, so there, there's two two subjects we're going to be talking about on this episode that are a little bigger. Um, so we're just going to kind of segment those. Uh, one being the PlayStation experience. So we'll save that till last uh, to give our impressions of what we saw there. Uh, but let's get into the first bit of news. Um, Resident Evil 2, uh, arguably people's favorite Resident Evil of all time outside of 4. Surprisingly, that game was really popular. Yeah, um, is getting a remake, and not just like an HD uplift, but a complete from the ground work, or from the ground uh, remake. Um, what What do you think about that? Well, first off, uh, I think it's kind of funny because this reminds me. Um, and even though I know this happened earlier than uh, the the PlayStation uh, remote play, mm-hmm. which we did a story on, uh, a mod mod team or a private team or a, you know, a small group or whatever um, unofficially was making um, a Resident Evil 2 remake using the Unreal Engine and then they turned around and went and said hey we're actually oh, yeah. doing it ourselves and I then it got shut confirmed down. recently which is what we're talking about now is they mm-hmm. confirmed it's an actual remake and not just uh, an HD yeah. um, up resing so um, it's funny how often that happens people trying to remake games that they like and then I mean it's good that it, they even it's almost like they that. take it as a hint like yeah Oh, there's a demand for this. People are actually working so, on that because apparently they want it. Um, as far as my opinion, though, I mean, awesome. Uh, yeah. I loved when they did it to the first game, even though they, I think they've done it twice now, actually, to the first they game. They did a full actual remake once, yeah. and uh, it was really fucking cool. It's also on PS4 now, I think. Yes. Uh, which I'm tempted to buy because I really liked it. I like the original one. I like I like the remake. The and this was cool. when Episode Zero came out as well, right? Yeah, I don't know much about that. I just know same um, engine. I think it covered a little more about like Rebecca and yeah. I don't, I don't know that but, game. No one cared about. Um, no, it's it's cool. I never played um, that one. I'm not super into the game genre, but yeah. I did enjoy watching um, the little bit I did see of it. So I liked Resident Evil one and two and four, and five and six are fun, but not really Resident Evil. But they're 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 fun shooters. Action games. I actually would yeah. like to play six some more. Well, the co-op was pretty fun. But, uh, but yeah, I, um, I'm really excited about it, honestly. Um, I really liked Resident Evil 2. I'd love to see it in uh, new graphics. Uh, they could even just up. Because that, that game obviously was limited by the, by the, um, the technical power of, of the uh, uh, PlayStation. <laughs> so it'd be cool to see that whole... Because that's like the big event in Resident Evil lore. That was the first big outbreak. Right. Um, the Raccoon City's completely... Um, infested essentially it's like the apocalypse there it's a city on fire with fucking zombies and people dying everywhere and shit mm-hmm. and you could really make that into something crazy uh, with you know newer graphics better technology more zombies on screen yeah um, they'll probably make it like five and six though I'm assuming I don't think it's gonna be this is just speculation I have no reason to believe this I just don't think that they're gonna actually make like the tank control. I would hate to see the tank controls come back, to be honest. I I would like it because it would feel more traditional, but I would prefer gameplay wise to play it like uh, five and six and four. I'd rather see it just keep kind of the 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 set camera thing that they did before. Obviously, it was much nicer looking. Uh But then instead of the tank controls, just give it actual three D movement. Yeah, Um, I mean that'd work too. That'd be really the only change. I think newer uh, Resident Evils before they turn it into what it is now. Like uh, Code Veronica, and I feel like one of the remakes, you could turn that off and on, the tank controls. Maybe. And you could like actually free walk around, stuff like that. Um, either way, I, I, I'm excited about this. I want to see where they go with it. Yeah. And, and uh, with Final Fantasy VII getting its remake, um, and that looks fucking amazing. Um, is that a topic? Yes. That's in PS Experience. Oh, well, we'll talk about a little bit of that in a little bit. Um but yeah, with that getting a full-on remake and then this getting a full-on remake, I would love to see them. Obviously, like reboots in Hollywood is like something that a lot of people kind of talk shit about. It's weird how in games it's embraced. It's embraced. Like we all have these nostalgic um, games that we just because 
one of the big things that kind of is, is a factor in gaming is is graphics and updated systems things yeah. that we come to expecting games now but um we didn't get before but we loved the games themselves so it's kind of like we want that updated version of a game we loved well it's like playing um the the, the metal gear solid uh Twin Snakes? Twin Snakes. It was fucking awesome. Where it played like Metal Gear Solid 2. Yep. So you had features Way better like, system. L- like hanging off of edges and stuff like that. So you got that, you got... And being able to go into first person. That same gameplay experience except with, with an updated control scheme stuff. And, and I don't think, um, you know, obviously when the games come out and you play them, you're like, wow, this is really cool. And then, you know, 10, 15 years goes by and you're like, man, I really remember that game. You're wearing nostalgia glasses, but mm. then also you get to see it like new tech new in and, and new yeah. engines and stuff and you get this crazy experience in it like you still you see that old game but you also see like how much cooler it can be so. yeah because you already love the story and love the gameplay and also like that you, you just wanted to essentially essentially experience it um with you know current gen yeah uh technology so don't screw it up capcom yeah don't fuck it up don't, don't be like <laughs> the rest of the japanese companies all fucking doing stupid shit like uh konami all right, for our next story, um, Telltale Games, the creator of the Walking Dead game and The Wolf Among Us, is coming out with another game, uh, which is Batman. So we're going to be excited to see an episodic Batman series. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I was, Without getting too into my opinion about it, mm-hmm. um, I was a little surprised about this, to be honest. That actually kind of blew, blew my mind, because they've been getting like these big IPs all of a sudden, which they deserve them. Um, they're the only ones that are doing what they're doing right now in that kind of uh, game style, that dead uh, genre. Um, and they do it really fucking well. Walking Dead Season 1 and 2 um, are phenomenal games that I think everybody should fucking play, and there's no excuse to not play them, um, even if you're not into that kind of game. Um, Wolf Among Us is fucking fantastic. And then, you know, they got the Game of Thrones. Uh, Tales of the Borderlands, brand, which I'm almost done with. Awesome. Minecraft, I, I forgot they made that. You haven't played yet, but it's it got really good reviews as well. I really? Think. I believe so. I, I I guess they can't fucking fail. I I apparently. guess the 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 thing they said about that was, um, at least for where I read, obviously, uh, it was interesting to see someone make a story in a Minecraft world, and they managed to to make that work, and it still feels like Minecraft. So. That's really cool. Yeah. I I have not been interested in that one at all, just because like, I'm not interested in the idea of a Minecraft mm-hmm. story. But then I have to remind myself that, you know, I thought that about, you know, The Wolf Among Us. I was like, I don't care about that comic. I never read it. Yeah. Like, you know, and I played it. I really fucking liked it. Almost made me want to go read the comic. Um, and, yeah, the Borderlands one, I'm a little like, eh, whatever. You know, I'm not. You, I'm, you would love it. But people have been saying it's really good. Yeah. Um, Back to Batman though, I I'm actually really excited about this. I'm not. I'm admittedly, I don't think either of us are huge Batman fans. No, we like we like it just like everybody else, but no fanaticism here. We're not no. fucking. Oh my god, um, Batman vs Superman looks really cool though. Um, but I, I'm excited about it because the thing that you get with these episodes, these hour, two hour long episodes, is you get depth. Like you. We're gonna see more. Like with a movie, you get the main event that happens with some flashbacks of shit we already know. Right. And uh, with a the game, there's gonna be it's a dialogue driven game. Um, I'm sure you'll make decisions on how to like take care of a certain situation because Batman's got that whole system where he doesn't kill people or use guns. So you're gonna have to make hard decisions mm-hmm. on how to like punish dudes and arrest dudes and who to question because a, he's a detective. People forget sure. that. Well, I was actually gonna say too is um, interrogating. They yep. choose your own interrogation method, essentially, you know, type of thing. That'd be kind of interesting. Yeah, and I just think that you were going to get a lot of uh, detail on on really who Batman is, mm-hmm. and less about like I want to see him fight the Joker, even though you know everybody's going to want to see that. It's going to be awesome. Sure. But um, I'm really excited about it. I'm so fucking into fucking Telltale games right now. Like, er, like every time I when I beat The Wolf Among Us, I was like, I want to play another one of these. And then I beat uh, Walking Dead season two, and I was like. I want season three. Right. And, like, at this point, I might play Borderlands just because I really fucking enjoy those games. It is super good. They're really casual. On the fifth episode. But. You can sit back and just kind of, like, you know, the stress is normally from the decision-making and not from the gameplay aspect. When you're battling it. yourself, mostly, in what, that case. What, Borderlands? No, decision, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. decisions, because you're like, I got, like, two seconds to figure out, like, what I want to do here, you mm-hmm. know? And depending on what kind of gamer you are, you're like, maybe you... What decision does this person want to make, or what decision would I make in that 
you know, or like, what am I going to do this playthrough and try to do? I mean, it, it gives you a lot of, uh, a lot of choice, and, and because of that, it is stressful. Yeah. So, yeah. I, um, and, but I think we're on the same page. I mean, at this point, Telltale Games could come out with a My Little Pony game, and I'd probably want to try it. I'd be interested so, some, for some reason. I'm I don't know why. Totally not into that. So. Just to see if, yeah. you know, they, they nail it. I don't, I don't know. I'd be more curious on, like, why. But, but yeah, definitely. Um, super excited about that. And uh, hopefully it comes out soon. Yeah. Those games, when they get announced, always come out pretty soon after, so... No, they've they've got the their Game system down. down. Yeah, it seems like every couple months there's an episode for one of the things coming out. So, yep, well, they're on their shit. So, yep, can't wait. Okay, for our third topic, um, more Konami drama. Uh, the VGAs happened. I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, I didn't watch it, but I but I you know read you know who won what blah blah yeah. blah. Because I'm always interested. In Witcher three for the fucking win. You know that was my game of the year. We might do an updated list uh, soon within you know the next week or so, but. Uh, still my game of the year, absolutely. Um, but uh, but another game uh, won some awards. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Five, um, but Hideo Kojima was not there. Uh, this apparently is because Konami um, and their lawyers told him that he essentially was banned from the VGAs, could not attend the event and accept uh, the awards for his game. Um, what what's your what's your opinion on that? This this whole debacle has been and continues to be completely just so distasteful and mm. it's low, it's, it's dirty, it's it's embarrassing. Yeah, and like every time I hear a story, even though I'm not even remotely involved, I'm just kind of like, it's like really like how how much <laughs> fucking further can you go? Like already like going like, hey, fuck the fans, fuck. Fuck anyone who who liked any of the IPs we had. Fuck Hideo Kojima and fuck anyone who who you know likes Metal Gear Solid. And then now it's just like, hey, you guys all think we're assholes already. Well, now we're gonna do some really fucked up shit and not let a guy who created, uh, you know, this great game not fucking and it, be able to. I don't think there was anyone on the it. team either that that received the award. I think it was a PR guy. Yeah, something like that. They received the award. Yeah. Some of his team was able to go to the VGAs, yeah. but yeah, it was some PR dude. Um, even Jeff Keighley uh, uh, from fucking, I don't know if he's still on Game Trailers or not, but... Uh, I don't think so. Um, he, he even, when he was up there giving the award away, uh, explained the situation to all the all the audience, saying like, hey, he wanted to be here. The lawyers at Konami said he couldn't, and it's, and it's, it's a fucked up thing, essentially. My words, not his. Uh, that he's not, he wasn't able to be there for it, but he wanted to be. It's really fucking. It's it's so obvious the distaste for this situation with everybody that Jeff Keeley, you know, went off prompter and said, you know, this is fucked up, yeah. like and let everybody know. So it's it's stupid, and it's also stupid when we we're hearing fucking that Kojima is on like fucking uh, vacation vacation or whatever, and he hasn't like. I, the whole situation is fucking stupid, and I at this point I wish Konami would just fucking disappear. Which sucks. It but. does suck. They yeah. fucking have made almost, like a shitload of my favorite games. Yeah. Silent Hill, they fucked over, uh, which is like my, one of my favorite games of all time. They should just sell off their IPs. Make everyone they should else sell their happy. fucking IPs and yeah. go fucking go make their pachinko machines. Yeah. Somewhere and not ever fucking hear from them again because everything I hear from them is fucking stupid. Yeah. No, it's. It's it's tiring. I like the the sooner we stop hearing stuff about Konami, the better. So yeah, um, it's just funny to watching like certain companies like Square and all these big Japanese companies just like kind of get muddied over the years, and you're disappointed with them. But like this one takes the fucking cake because it's literally they fucking put the knife in and fucking broke the handle off, and now they're fucking putting hot sauce on the fucking wound. Like and it's just weird. Cause it's the, it's crazy. The surviving. Japanese companies that we do have are trying to turn that around right yeah. now, which awesome. You Square have. Squares, they're working on it. Yeah, and well, even Capcom is trying to work on it, though they constantly do the same yeah fucking mistakes over like and over again. They're not but... interested in in making games anymore. All of them, it's weird. It's like they're doing because they they have been doing it. Yeah, well, they're like we just gotta keep going. But I fucking. And again, we'll talk about it. It's fresh on my mind, but I, fucking, if Square kills fucking Final Fantasy VII and just fucking crushes it with it, I'm gonna be fucking happy. 
well, yeah, I think you and the rest of the world. Everybody. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say on that on that yeah, topic. I, I'm I'm done with this. It's stupid. Yeah. So uh, fuck you, Konami, and uh, on to the next topic. All right. So PlayStation Two emulation is now officially on the PlayStation Four. Uh, we got eight games to come out, and with two more around the corner, uh, I've actually bought one myself already. Already, yeah. yeah. Um, just because as soon as I saw it on the list, I had to get it. But no, yeah, we, uh, it's out. Uh, the game's already out, and let's see what we got. We got Dark Cloud, uh, Grand Theft Auto Three, Vice City, and San Andreas, uh, Rogue Galaxy, which is something I never played, uh, The Mark of Cry, which I forgot existed. Uh, Twisted Metal Black, which I think a lot of people liked. I don't, I, I, don't, so. I don't remember. Uh, and War of the Monsters, which is actually a game I really enjoyed. Um, and do you know the two games that are coming out? Yeah, it's uh, King of Fighters 2000 and Parappa the Rapper 2. Which I never played Parappa the Rapper 2, so that'd be kind of cool to try out. Um, so you have bought a game. Um, mm -hmm. It was 15 bucks. Mm -hmm. I bought Dark Cloud. We talked about this already a little bit. I think 15 bucks is fair. I think the $10 games is even fairer. As long as they don't go over fifteen, I think no one will have any room to complain. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, unless people are going to, but yeah, I don't. I mean, I think that's that, I think fair. it's a completely fair price point. Mm -hmm. um, the games are all rendered uh, in ten eighty p, which yeah. is cool. They have trophies, all that shit. We've all covered that already. Four features, yeah, a little bit. But um, but is there any other games here you think you would uh you'd pick up? Um, probably Rogue Galaxy and mm -hmm. um. Depending, I, I really don't know anything about Mark or Cry, but I would be tempted to pick that up if it um, is a, a good game. I mm. don't know nothing about it, so if you guys want to let, let me us know, know if you played it, if you played it, yeah, how was it? Um, yeah, I was I was thinking I maybe pick up World of Monsters, only ten bucks, and uh, I kind of want to pick up the Grand Theft Autos, but at the same time, like I bought those on like iPhone and all that shit. I, yeah. I just want to. I should just not be buying them just to buy them. I don't know if I'll play them. But uh, Dark Cloud is really interesting to see. You're playing that. It's really weird to see a PS2 game uh, on the PS4. Um, but it's really cool. Um, I hope that they really support this and keep going. Um, and I would love to see some PlayStation 1 games. Um, yeah, I know, um, I know that they had stated that they, they want to aggressively approach this, so hopefully they, they keep true to that because there are a lot of... Um, quality games that people i mean there's also people playing ps4 who weren't old enough mm. when these games came out and now they have that chance to play these games yeah, they have, have to actually physically now. find that copy yeah. and stuff like that um no it's it's all around awesome and one thing i wanted to mention and not to kind of fuel the fucking the well it's not a console war but um it's fucking total domination but uh you know the the Xbox One has its emulation that you can actually play like physical games true, or whatever, which true is backwards compatible, which is yeah. really neat. Um, but the backwards compatible list, it, although big, uh, did not have that great games on it. Like um, one or two gems or something. Yeah, like that. I, I went through the whole thing. I was like, wow, like what the fuck is this? Um, like it didn't even have like Call of Duties on it. It was weird. That is weird. Um, really fucking weird because that defined the fucking 360 as the the console. Um, so this is, I think, a really good start. It's always going to start out slow with well, games I think like most this. of those, with the exception of um, the Grand Theft Autos, are, mm. are Sony Studios games. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. So that would that's obviously going to be very easy for them to bring over. And yeah, it's, it's just nice because all these games have value to me. Like, not games that I particularly... Like, Market Cry, I remember not being too into that when it came out. Mm. But I know people did like it. Um, so it's good that they're not just, like, releasing... Uh, Fantavision, or the fuck it was called, uh, one of the first PS2 games that came out. It was literally just a fireworks simulator. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Like, oh wow, that's what's a weird. I was working at GameStop then. Yep. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, I, for some reason I remember the launch titles of the PS2 really well. Uh, DOA two. Yeah. Wow, um, played the crap out of that. Uh, that race or is a Rockstar game where you drove uh, buggies. Um, shit, what was that called? I keep want to say the Getaway, but that's a completely different game. That game was awesome. I would love to see that come back. Um. Smuggler's Run. I forgot that existed. Weird. Rockstar, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I don't know why I remember these. <laughs> and uh, Fanavision, which was a fucking black screen, and you hit buttons on the controller, and it would shoot fireworks. Which is stupid that that was a fucking video game. Yeah. That you bought in a case, brought home when you just got your brand new PS2. It was meant to show off the system, though. Yeah, but that's fucking... <laughs> 
that's barely a toy nowadays. No, yeah. That's it, something you, like, you know, would see on a fucking touch screen at the mall and just kind of go, do, 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 do. It was early 2000s, going. man. It's fucking crazy. So, I have a question for you. Huh? You get to pick one PlayStation 2 game that you'd like to see them emulate and bring back for you to buy. <sighs> fucking Metal Gear Solid 3, probably. I mean, huh? that was cool. um... Well, I could I could go deeper than that, but like just instantly, first thing I think of a game that I would want to replay again. I and I have fucking Metal Gear Solid Three on mm. PS Two. I have fucking you have the HD collection for PS Three. I would buy that game again. I mean, I don't I don't I'll always buy that game. But um, I can't really think of any games uh, for PS Two right now off the top of my head. Um. Yeah, I'd I'd have to I'd have to come back to that question. What What are you thinking? Um, for me, it'd be the entire dot .hack series, uh, because oh, yeah. they're hard to get now, and I have half of them, and I, I, I can't finish that. I, it's like we're getting halfway through a book, mm. and then the book gets stolen from you, so I want to play those. Yeah. Because as, as clunky as gameplay was, the story was really cool, and, and I really wanted to finish that story, and I, I just got denied. So. Yeah, I remember people talking uh, positively about that game yeah. uh, series. Yeah. Um, I already mentioned this before when we when we originally talked about this, but uh, Front Mission Four, I fucking love that game. Yeah, I would love to love. I would buy that game. Another series Square should bring back. Yeah, and not some weird fucking three D fucking or not three D, but like over the shoulder fucking like weird MMO or the no, hell they give made. It, give us a tactical game. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But uh, really cool. I think it's a good start for um, for the PS2 emulation, and it came out really quickly. I remember hearing about that not that long ago. And now it's out, yeah. which is awesome. So, uh, so yeah, I'm I'm happy with it. I can't wait to see more games. I've already invested, obviously. So come come out. So yeah. All right, on the next topic. Okay, so for our final segment, we're going to be talking about uh, the PlayStation Experience happened um, over the weekend, mm -hmm. and uh, that's Sony's big event for people who don't know, um, where they essentially talk about the future of PlayStation and the games we should be expecting from them. Um, it's actually really neat. Uh, I swear I'm almost a borderline fucking Sony fanboy at this point because I was like, oh shit, they got an event. I want to see that just because they've been killing it. But uh, they, they announced a bunch of stuff. They showed a bunch of stuff off. Uh, VR seems to be focused. Um, focused lately, which is really cool. I'm fucking buying it when it comes out because I fucking need it. Um, Ace Combat 7 is going to use it. I'm fucking so excited about that. Stupid. Um, Gran, Turismo. Gran Turismo. Like, oh god, I fucking need it. Um, and these are like big real games they're not these little toy games where you're right. like push the balloons in the air or some stupid shit um but yeah so we're just gonna do a shotgun run real quick talk about some of the games that we feel like are worth mentioning there's more but um we'll give our impressions real quick so uh the first one is nino kuni 2 revenant kingdom um which i had heard that they were going to make a second one but it you know it's it's cool to actually see that's coming out yeah but, it was the first one was a really good surprise for me. I'm not a huge RPG guy, traditional RPG, but um, but I love the art style. Um, I love that it was like a traditional Japanese RPG. Um, you and Rob seemed to like it, um, so I'm really excited. Traditional RPG in a time where JRPGs were dead too. That's a huge thing exactly. to say there. So yeah, um, you excited about that one? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, was this Yakuza Zero? Zero. Mm. Oh, weird. Uh, so, Yakuza Zero, um, part of the long fucking running Yakuza series, to me, it looks like Yakuza uh, with some smoother graphics. Not better, but smoother. And uh, should be fun. I'm sure Josh will pick it up. He's a fan of the games, and I will try it then, but I probably will not be buying this. Little to no opinion. Yeah, I, I figured. <laughs> uh, Paragon, which is a game I had not heard of, uh, oh, it's yeah. being made by Epic, the guys who make Gears of War. Um, it's nice to see them making a game that's not Gears of War. Refreshing. Um, it seems to be maybe a MOBA or a Overwatch Battleborn Battle type Born, game. Yeah. Um, I was really happy to see that they used uh, M83 for the soundtrack. It it uh, it made a trailer that otherwise would be passive for me. Pretty enjoyable to watch. Um, opinions on that? Um, not until I see gameplay. It was cinematic trailer. So yeah, exactly. I. I know it exists, and that's yeah. that's why the trailer exists. Um, Battleborn, they they showed off some of that. Um, I'm already into we, this. I, we played the we beta. Played it, yeah. We actually have a video of that. Uh, check that out right here. And um, yeah, we're, we're probably both gonna pick it up when it comes out. Uh, that was fun. So it's cool. 
Um, Uncharted 4, there's nothing to say there. Fucking, I, I played the, I'm playing the beta right now for the multiplayer. I, I fucking, I love Uncharted. I can't wait for it. It'd be and, weird if you own a PlayStation 4 and you don't buy this game. Yeah. Especially, fucking, that game is amazing looking. Yeah. Like, and you get I, a chance to watch the PlayStation Experience video of it. Yeah. Super Check impressive. Check it out. It's fucking awesome. Uh, a new game by Team Ninja. Yes. So that was uh, Neo, Neo, uh, N I O H. Um, looks almost like a spiritual successor to games like uh, um, Ninja Gaiden and. Oh, God, what's that other game that was like that? I don't fucking know. I don't remember. But um, not really my cup of tea, but it's cool to kind of see that kind of classic type gameplay come back. Um, That'd be a good one to keep an eye on, I think. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, Killing Floor 2, we already own that for PC. I've been playing it for a while. Well, you haven't, but I have played a shitload of it. I love that game. I love seeing that it's coming to the PS4, uh, expanding its community. It'd be really fucking cool if they can get the cross-platform, cross-platform going. That'd yeah. be really cool, because you were just telling me Rocket League does that, which yep. is awesome. Uh, sorry, um, Xbox owners. Um, you're not part of that. Uh, and then finally, or do, do you have an opinion on the Killing Floor 2? I, well, and we'd kind of talked about it before we recorded, but mm. uh, one thing I, I had said is I am really excited that two years ago, Sony said that because of the way the PlayStation 4 is built, that PC games were going to have an easier time coming to console. This is a prime example and of that. they have they been. keep showing it, keep doing this. This is awesome. Yeah, they're You're allowing these. console players to get a taste of PC gaming, and it's yep. really cool. Really fucking cool. And uh, finally, uh, finally, Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, they showed actual gameplay of the game and it Very is early, fucking yeah. cool like it's early you can tell the english dubbing was just thrown in there for the trailer the and, and and like some of the stuff was stiff but like really i think it's better looking than it should be at this point but sure i mean you were saying that it pretty much looks like it's off the same engine as 15 oh yeah um, definitely so they've pretty much already have the storyline they have the characters the story they have the sets. engines i mean they so really got to make it to, yeah they just have to, to make the, the pieces and put them together and obviously add any uh, – because I know they want to add extra stuff to it, which is yeah. awesome. Um, no, yeah. Just keep everything as it was and then you can add stuff to that, but just don't fucking change too much. Except for the combat, I think is really fucking cool looking. The, so when I watched it the second time though, uh-huh. I noticed it still had the traditional menu in the bottom left though from Final Fantasy VII. So I don't it's know. It's probably going to be like that hybrid that fifteen has. It will be interesting to see how they, they handle yeah. it. Um, I was just impressed by the particle effects. Yeah. When he was swinging a sword and shit, and there's just light flying everywhere, and shows like that's uh, cool looking. No, it definitely gorgeous. Um, I and also want to see the there summons. Was a, a little shit. bit of a nod to Advent Children at one point, yeah. where he kind of like did the Geo Stigma thing. Oh really? Yeah. No, it'd be cool because it's a newer game and it looks you know better and almost looks like fucking Advent Children graphically, um, which is awesome. That they can kind of make that, uh, they can kind of close that gap between the movie. And the game itself, because originally you just had this classic game with a movie based off it. Now you can have that movie that that you know already exists based off that game, but have it actually have like a visual um, representation of a game that actually exists now, and they can be connected that way. Um, plus, you know, they can update certain things to make it look more like Advent Children. Well, right? and then, yeah, and like you kind of said, you, we can uh, tie those stories a little uh, tighter yeah. together. Excuse me. Um, the one thing I, I, that, because when I saw that menu down there too, that uh, I'm kind of curious to see now is, is I always forget that old Final Fantasy games have plethoras of summons in them. Yeah. And that'll be really interesting to see because they kind of like... I want to see like Nets of the Round came and Came way too. back from that. Oh, and yeah, and that's like... An Omni Slash. And ridiculously fucking... long summon. Yeah. Um, I wonder how they're going to handle that now because... In beautiful HD... Yeah. 1080p graphics. I want um, to see that. But even like when they're blowing up the the Mako reactor, mm. like it was already completely different because like you had to like walk through like rubble. And yeah, stuff it had like, like that, very and... like almost uncharted type like scenarios where you're like squeezing through stuff and yeah, I, it's fucking cool. So that that kind of extra element to it, not just be a, a top down you know little dude running around on screen to get in fights, but actually having those cinematic experiences in game engine. Um, will be fucking awesome. I'm, I'm really excited for that. Yeah. I mean, unless some video comes out later that makes me all of a sudden doubt anything about it, this is very easily a day one. Like, I'll be there oh, at dude. midnight. Yep. Give me my fucking game. Um, yeah. 
I mean, I don't even buy collector's editions anymore, but if, I, I'd be almost tempted with this game. So. If it had something cool, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so obviously we're super excited for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Hopefully you are as well, uh, unless you're one of those guys who is like, oh, I'm making the right Final Fantasy. But the other argument I like, too, they is... They will. Oh, well, PlayStation is getting excited over a, a you know, almost 10-year or 20-year-old game or whatever, like... There's a reason for that. Like it's Final Fantasy fucking seven. Yeah. So whatever. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's just people being fucking stupid. Um. But yeah, uh, let us know in the comments below. Um. Um. Are you excited for anything from the PlayStation experience or uh, Resident Evil remake, the PlayStation Two emulation? Yep. I mean, uh, what games did you like to see on PS Two or uh, PS Four from PS Two? Um. And, and yeah, just let us know uh, what you think of all the topics we covered in the, in the episode. Uh, we're, we're interested. Uh, but that's going to do it for Tasty Tuesday on Tasty Loot Gaming. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to check us out on Tumblr and Twitter, Tasty Loot Gaming, uh, Twitch, Sleep Division, one word. Um, and yeah, my name's Seth. I'm Chevy. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take it easy.